Okay, so this is for foundations and the Wilson Foundation that we do every day with our kids. Um, this is mainly the alphabet, vowels, and digraphs. So I'm gonna go through how that looks, and this is something that you will use every day for a warm up for reading with your child, okay? So we've got A, apple, a, B, bat, b, C, cat, k, D, dog, d, E, Ed, E, F, Fun, F, G, Game, G, H, Hat, H, I, Itch, I, J, Jug, J, K, Kite, K, L, Lamp, U, M, Man, M, N, Nut, n, o, octopus, a, p, pan, p, q, u, queen, qu, r, rat, r, s, snake, s, t, top, t, u, up, a, v, van, v, w, wind, W, X, Fox, X, Y, Yellow, Y, Z, Zebra, Z. And I will also have a link for the Foundations Alphabet on my site. So you'll probably either see it in my comments or in the Google documents. <coughs> so you'll be able to follow along with visuals with your child if you want to. The next thing I'm going to do is the vowels. So we have our vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. They are also in pink down here in your alphabet. So you've got A, E, I, O, and U, and you review that with your child. Um, so on the top, this is what this looks like, and I will be sending a paper that looks something like this. It's going to be A, Apple, E, Ed, I, Itch, O, octopus, U, up. So that's how that looks and that's what that's going to sound like. Move over here to digraphs real quick. W, H, whistle, W. And I forgot to say for digraphs, it's going to be two letters that make one sound. So you do have two letters, but they only make one sound. You wanna make sure you tell your child that. So W, H, whistle, W. C H chin ch, and you can point to your chin, and you can have your child point to their chin. S H ship sh, T H thumb, th, and then C K sock. K. So that's a warm up that we do for our reading time in our Wilson Foundations. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome to our phonemic awareness training lesson. We are going to move on to onset fluency because we have already read through hop on pop for our rhyme recognition. So let's start with our onset fluency. So the teacher says the word, students repeat the word and isolate the onset, meaning the beginning sound. Give, so students say give, g. Sign, s, voice, v, quick. Qu, net, n, jog, j, rest, r, zoo, z, yak, y, mask, m. Moving into blending words. So the teacher says the words with a pause between them. Students repeat the words with a pause and say the compound word. So here's our first one, highway. So the student would say highway, highway. Zoo keeper, zoo keeper. Shoe lace, shoe lace, peanut. Peanut, himself, himself, broomstick, broomstick, scarecrow, 
Scarecrow. Day, light. Daylight. Sea, shells. Seashells. Cup, cake. Cupcake. We are going to do our identifying final sounds. So I'm going to say the word. Students repeat the word and over enunciate the final sound, then isolate the final sound. So here's our first word, hope. So the student says, hope, p, what, t, kids, z, said, d, in, N, off, f, break, k, zoom, m, fill, l, pass, s. We're doing our segmenting words. So I'm going to say the compound word. Students repeat the word and then segment it into two words. Earthworm. So the student says earthworm, earthworm. Keyboard, keyboard. Meatballs, meatballs. Nickname, nickname. Moonlight, moonlight. Overalls, overalls. Into, in to hallway hallway starfish starfish toolbox tool box we're doing our substituting words so i'm going to say the word students repeat the word and then i'm going to say to change that underlying word to this word to make a new word and i'll ask is and the word is okay let's go ahead and get started Mailman. So the student says mailman. Change mail to fire and the word is fireman. Starfish. Change star to gold and the word is goldfish. Every day. Change every to some and the word is someday. Indoors. Change in to out, and the word is outdoors. Broomstick. Change broom to lip, and the word is lipstick. Good job on our phonemic awareness training today.